Welcome to DPV Technology. In this video, we will see how to use center tape and ordinary transformer in a circuit. We will see how to connect both these transformer for any applications. We can see here this transformer has two terminals both the sides. So it is an ordinary transformer or you can tell it is a non-center tape transformer. First, we have to identify the primary and secondary side of this transformer. Generally, the wires of primary side of most of the transformers are colored with red, but sometimes it may not happen. We can identify it by measuring the resistance of the wires of these transformers. If you don't know how to do that, you can watch our video how to identify primary and secondary sides of a transformer. After identifying the primary and secondary sides, we can proceed to connect the transformer in our circuit. For this transformer, this is the secondary side as its terminals are green. It is a 220 volt 6 volt transformer. So if we connect 220 volt AC at the primary side, then we will get 6 volt AC at its secondary side. That means here. If our circuit requires DC, then we have to connect a rectifier at these two secondary terminals. Then we will get a 6 volt DC. Coming to the next transformer, we can see that it has two terminals at the primary side and three terminals at the secondary side. The middle one is connected at the center of the secondary coil of this transformer. If it is a 12 0 12 volt transformer, then you can get 12 volt or 24 volt from it depending on our setup. If we connect our circuit at this and terminals then we will get 24 volt AC and we can easily convert it to DC by a rectifier circuit if you don't know how to make a rectifier circuit you can watch our videos given in the description of this video now we can connect our circuit to any one of these end terminals and to center terminal then we will get a 12 volt AC that means if we connect our circuit to these two terminals or to these terminals then we will get 12 volt AC at its output and we can convert it to DC by using rectifier circuit so thank you for watching our video